What is happening with the market? Is it slowing down? Is it speeding up? Well, maybe it's a bit of both. In this video, I'm gonna break it down. This is your September 2023 market update. My name is Greg Axford. I'm a licensed realtor and property manager, and I run a real estate brokerage out of the Tri-Cities in Greater Vancouver. That's Port Coquitlam, Coquitlam and Port Moody. And my goal of this channel is just to make educational videos to help anybody that's thinking about buying, selling, or investing in the area that I feel so fortunate every day, especially on a day like today. It is an absolute beautiful day uh, to live and work in. And if you'd like to talk a little bit deeper about buying, selling, or investing in my marketplace, there is a convenient link below in the description that's a calendar link that will allow you to choose a time that's convenient for yourself we can chat on the phone we can meet in person or we can have a zoom call and please before i proceed with the september 2023 market update if this video adds any value or you like it please click the like button it would be greatly appreciated it helps youtube's algorithm get it out to other individuals like yourself that's looking for this kind of information and if you'd like to be kept up to date whenever a new video comes out please click that notification button. All right, so the market is a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm going to throw a graph up on the screen behind me here. This is going to show you what's happened with the prices. Now, as you can see from this graph, the green is Greater Vancouver, the other colors are the Tri-Cities here. As you can see, the consistency throughout all Greater Vancouver and the Coquitlam, Port Midi, Port Coquitlam is that prices have flattened out. Well, usually when we see prices flatten out like that, it boils down to two things, usually the uh, inventory level or the interest rates. So the Bank of Canada yesterday just announced that they are not increasing the rates uh, as of right now. So they've maintained those. There was a lot of speculation that those were going to go up a bit, but they haven't. So that may spur on some future activity moving into the fall, but looking back at what happened last month, it didn't factor into anything other than some speculation. Uh, however, there's no question that the interest rates have gone up significantly uh, over the last year and a bit. So that's putting some pressure on your mortgage payments. And I'm starting to get phone calls. I'm starting to see that. And I will imagine that I will see that more as we go into the coming months and the coming years. Well, there's two things to talk about here. If they weren't at a fixed rate, they've hit their trigger rate, meaning that their uh, mortgage payment no longer covers just the interest portion of their loan so they have to increase it and that's just covering the interest there's no principal being paid off there the other problem that we're probably going to start to see uh, fairly soon is the people that were locked into five-year uh, really low fixed rates that like some some of my clients are at like one point something i think there was one that was even below one percent those terms are going to be coming up. Typically, they're five-year terms. They're going to be coming up for renewal. And when they come up for renewal, there's going to be a vast difference uh, in what they were paying and what they are going to have to pay. So I'd imagine that this is going to put a lot of financial pressure on uh, a lot of people. And we may see people having to move uh, downsize uh, because they just can't afford what they're in right now. So I'm going to throw this graph up on the screen behind me. This is inventory level or sales to active as they call it. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know it always boils down to the inventory that is the key driver in price increases and price decreases. Um, so the Greater Vancouver, the green, you can see it's about 25%. So that means that 25 out of 100 homes are selling. So that gives us about four months of inventory. Uh, Tri-Cities is slightly higher even, so at about 40%. Um, which is about two and a half months of inventory. So up to four months is considered a seller's market. Four to six months is a balanced market. And when we get above six months of inventory, uh, obviously that is a buyer's market. So right now, the confusing thing is the prices aren't increasing, but there's, uh, you know, it's still very much a seller's market. So this tells me that the buyers are just saying, whoa, hold on. And that's what I'm seeing out there uh, every day is that uh, the buyers just, they're just not uh, increasing the price, right? So if we've got the list price, if the list price is close to the uh, actual market value of the home, that's what you're gonna get. You're not gonna get these crazy bidding wars that were going on previously uh, in the, in the uh, uh, 
spring of this year. We're starting to see that again, but that's just not happening now. So much more of a balanced market. If you're looking to buy or sell, this is really a good market. Um, you can take your time as a buyer. You can negotiate a good offer. You can have your subjects. Uh, and as a seller, there's lots of negotiating going on right now. Uh, it's a very good market to operate in. If you have any questions, please, I'd love to hear them. Type them into the comment box below. And happy house hunting, everyone.